Uh, I talked a bit about, little about a sealed combustion where we're taking our combustion air in through a duct and our flue products out through a duct. There's also something called concentric venting. And concentric venting is a two ducts in one. So our combustion air can come in on this outer duct where the blue is here. I don't mean to touch the screen, sorry. And our flue products out the middle. So that's going to cool our flue products even more. Notice this is sidewall. We don't need the vertical anymore. We've got a blower in here that is going to propel the flue products out. So vertical is no longer always needed. But the appliance manufacturer gets to decide how they're <laughs> who determines the appliance vent category. Manufacturer. That's the only person. They'll, they'll in their book, in their literature, some will say this is intended to be a category appliance. One through four. We can vent single wall. Most people avoid it because it's a burn hazard. If we're talking about flue products in the 300 degree range especially. Type B is the double wall galvanized category one. Welded steel is sometimes used on category three. A lot of times for a gas engine, you'll see a welded steel stack where they're assembling it on site. They're putting sections together, bzzz, welding it, positive pressure. AL294C is, uh, the AL is Allegheny Ludlum. It's the manufacturer of this material that is super resistant to corrosion from carbonic acid. Pretty coincidental? No, I would say not. But uh, you'll see this a lot in con uh, category four appliances, AL294C. I mentioned plastic. I said it's TPVC and PVC. My furn uh, water heater at home and my furnace actually are vented with PVC pipe. They go straight up. There's no horizontal sections in those. Here's my take on plastic venting. The, the PVC is polyvinyl chloride. Flu products can break down the bonds in polyvinyl chloride. So. I try to avoid it, especially in commercial buildings. In my house, the flue products are going right up vertical, not a big deal. I've seen horizontal runs where they start to sag from the breakdown of this polyvinyl chloride. The PVC manufacturers have never issued a statement saying, yeah, go ahead and put flue products through our product. So right now, there's no one holding liability except <coughs> a designer or an installer for PVC and CPVC on flue venting. So AL294C became the only go-to option. However, there is a plastic now called polypropylene, or PP, and it is designed with the intent to use for flu products. It carries UL1738 listing, and, and it's less expensive than AL294C, 